The man was just getting ready to scrub the floor when the floor was hit by a shot from someone else. He hurriedly bent down to check, not realizing that it was his downstairs neighbor who had committed suicide. He then rushed to find an iron bar to smash open the floor, and wanted to teach his neighbor a lesson, but unexpectedly came down to find that his wife was also dead, and there is a weird teeth marks on the hand. That's when the man realized the terrible thing. In order to verify the conjecture in his heart, he slowly opened the door to see. I did not expect a group of zombies directly pounced over. Good thing he closed the door in time to avoid a disaster. The man then hurriedly looked downstairs, not realizing that the city was already in chaos. One survivor still wanted to hide in the car, but after a few seconds other survivors also wanted to hide in. But just when the last person went in, the zombies suddenly rushed over, with miserable cries coming from inside the car. A group of people became the zombies' dinner, realizing the horror of the zombies. The man thought that the door to the floor was still open, so he hurriedly rushed downstairs with his gun. At this time, the hallway was already strewn with bloodstains, and just after walking downstairs, he found a man covered in bloodstains standing at the door. The man then quietly locked the door, which isolated the door from the walkers. He also got the keys to the various rooms at the doorman's office and prepared to gather supplies from house to house. Once he had enough to eat and drink, he opened the next house to search, only to have a walker rush by before he could take two steps. A zombie pounced on him, and there was even a pair of zombie mothers and daughters following close behind. The man immediately closed the door of his room tightly when he saw this, and even drew a no-entry sign on the door. Luckily, the man found something edible in the other house, and even a working headset. But on the way out, an elderly walker appeared at the stairway, and luckily he moved slowly, so the man hurriedly shut him down with a belt. Ten days later the man completely broke down, he played the drums hard to vent his emotions, but how can the walkers tolerate this kind of movement? Soon the man found a group of walkers all rushing over, after realizing that zombies can follow the sound and bite people, he could only hide in his house, not daring to make a big sound. In the following days, he would pick up his binoculars every day to check if there were any living people downstairs. As a result, on this day, he found a surviving kitten downstairs, and thinking that he finally had a living thing to keep him company, he hurriedly rushed downstairs and tried to save the kitten, but just as he stepped out of the downstairs, a zombie ran frantically, but fortunately the man was quick on his feet and escaped through another car door, but the more terrible thing is that the man's calf has been scratched by the zombie, and then he rushed to check if he had mutated, in the end, he decided to kill himself, but he did not expect that he was too sleepy and fell asleep directly, a few days later the man began to go crazy, he deliberately hit the drums hard, a moment all the zombies ran over with the sound, but even so, the man is still not afraid, and even he rushed to the window to attract the zombies surrounded. At night, the man then heard a fierce sound ringing outside the door, so he took his gun and shot it, but when he stepped out of the door, he realized it was a woman, and then he rushed to treat the woman's wounds. By the next day, the woman recovered physically and chatted with him, which cheered up the man who hadn't been in contact with the living for a long time, but within a few days of happiness, he realized that the woman wanted to leave, and despite the man's attempts to stop her, the woman said that hiding in the house wouldn't last long at all, and that even if the zombies didn't surround her, she would still starve to death. It was only at this moment that the man suddenly woke up to the fact that the woman had already died the night he shot her. The past few days together were nothing more than a figment of his imagination. The man then helped her with her funeral, then picked up his bag and prepared to leave. At the same time, the zombie group rushed over, and he immediately threw out the rope and jumped straight down. In fact, no matter how the man ends up, he took that step. The man from the beginning of the movie, experienced loneliness, and also enjoy the loneliness generated doubt. To out of loneliness, maybe without trying, you never know what will happen next. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.